Hi, I'm Annika Johnson from Al Johnson's in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. Today we are here with Adam Erickson. Erickson. I just keep saying his name and I said you're so Swedish sounding. Adam Erickson. He's the new director at the Peninsula Art School. Yeah. And uh, everybody's excited about it. He, I, you know, I haven't been here in a long time because this is all new. Yeah. So I'm going to let Adam take it away because I need to learn a little bit more now. It's been years since I've been here. Um, all us locals don't always get to come to the art school and participate when we're working. And that's uh, my biggest bummer you know even sure, with the clearing yeah. and everything else yeah so. There's so but much anyway i want you to explain how did you get here where you're from uh how in the world did you choose to move here All and right. become the director yeah so thanks annika thanks yeah. for, thanks for being here yeah. um so i started in may of 2023 i've been here for a bit over a year mm -hmm. and i was coming from the twin cities that's where i grew up and uh, I lived in New York City for a bunch of years and was uh, drawn out here by this amazing place. And, and I don't mean just the art school, I mean Door County. I mean, it's a stunning place to be and it's really fun to So you took classes now here live first? Here. No, I actually, I had a friend call me up uh, one, one morning and said, I, I know that this, or, this organization in Door County, Wisconsin is looking for a new executive director and I think you'd be perfect for it. Can I recommend you? And I said, nice. let me check it out. And so I started looking into it and thought, wow, I'd like to learn more. Mm -hmm. And so I got, out, I got brought out here for an interview and it was, it was kind of love at first sight. I mean, I walked through the doors, which we're going to do in a minute. Mm -hmm. And you can see this gorgeous gallery oh, that's been here since here. the mid late nineties. Mm -hmm. And then a new expansion, uh, which really sealed the deal for me because as you're walking down the youth wing, this is all our new youth wing. Yeah, that's where we came in. It was very nice. Nice. You kind of, as you go down, we start with a teen room at the end, and then we go down further, and the tables and the chairs get smaller and smaller, and, smaller. and the aprons do too. Yeah. So it's uh, so right now we've got a few uh, kids classes in there going on. I saw the kids walking around. That's awesome. Yeah. In summertime, full swing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're busy as can be, and yeah, this this campus. I mean, this organization's been here for almost 60 years. We were celebrating our 60th in 2025. Okay. Yeah, my friend got married right here. She had oh, a yeah? wedding here, and uh, it was a blast. But it wasn't. It really was just this building, and then a little tiny, small office. It was not yeah. anything like this. Yeah. So it's just changed so much. So, yeah. Now, are you married? I'm not married. You're not married. We're not married. Um, <laughs> kids? No kids? No. No kids. So you no. just flat out moved here. I did. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. No, not a problem finding a place to live. I, well, I, about 20 people told me when I took the job, start looking for housing yeah, right now. Yeah, horrible. And one place opened up oh, uh, good. Be, when I was looking for okay. an apartment. <laughs> yeah. And so I got one in Sister Bay. Oh, oh so, Sister Bay. Yeah. Okay, where did you move? Um, yeah. right, right behind the old shop co. The oh, newer nice back development. Here. Sure, yeah. I have friends that live back yeah. here. Yeah, that's a nice. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's nice a good place quiet. to be. You're in town, but you're not in town. Yeah, yeah well. and I don't have to drive through town, uh -huh. which is most important to get to the art school. Okay. Now, does your family come to see you a lot? Are they excited uh, about you having this job? Yeah, my my parents. I have two brothers. Uh, when I when I took the job, my parents had been to Door County like. 20 or 25 years ago on a vacation with friends. And uh, so they, as soon as I took the job, they said, let us know when you have your guest room set up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. You know? 
<laughs> oh, yeah. And they've That's... been out a few times. Okay, so good. They, they, they love it out here, too. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you take it away. Uh, where, do, where do you want to start and show us this place? And yeah. what do you want to tell us about? Well, so I think we should go straight in through the front door here. Okay. And we'll check out the gallery. Okay. Um, where we just are on the other side of the big plein air festival. And so we're going to check out. You're, you're not going to see an exhibition in there, but it's going to be sort of the aftermath of the... Yeah, I'm familiar with the... I used to call it the plain air, or plain air that festival. That works too. And then of yeah. course my friend Claire just said, it's not plain, it's plen. Plen. I'm like, the sure French. doesn't, sure doesn't plea in. <laughs> <laughs> Any of those is fine. Outdoor <laughs> okay. painting, that's yeah, the Yeah, and a couple people yeah. I've seen throughout the years, I have a rental house downtown in Sister Bay and I have really nice hollyhocks and they just park right in the yard yeah. and they just start painting. I love it. With 30 some amazing artists from all over the country who fly to Door County or drive to Door County and they paint for a week and they produce over 200 new paintings in that week. How do you as pick? A group. They're all so nice, I bet. They're amazing. Yeah. And the, the, we have a, a live auction and a silent auction. And so people really get into the bidding on those pieces. So how many get to get involved? 200? We have 200 paintings by the end of the festival. And how that, do you pick? And they're all up on the walls by the end. So as these artists are out in, you know, in your front yard or their downtown Sister Bay painting, they're they're finishing their works. And as soon as they're done, they bring them right to the school and we hang it up on the wall. So the walls just get filled with artwork during that week. And then at the end of the week, we have the big auction and people start bidding for the paintings. OK, and so, so we sell the sell all those works. If you wanted to come and look at the artwork, can you just walk in here totally. and just come and look? Yep, without totally. Without even asking? Yes, okay. you can You can come in at any time and see during that festival week. And then throughout the year, we always have interesting exhibitions going on. Artists from around here, artists from greater Wisconsin, Midwest, mm -hmm. and even nationally. And the, the gallery's always open. Okay. And it's, and it's free. Good, let's go look at it. All right, <clears throat> sounds good. Yeah, and this garden is gorgeous too, by the I way. I know, we have some I'm amazing all about the garden. landscaping. Yes. Do you like landscaping? I like looking at landscaping. Who does your landscaping? It is uh, Jack and Jill. Oh, Rachel. Yes, yeah, Rachel. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. She worked at Elle's. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Her and her sister. <laughs> All right. So this is one of my favorite buildings. It's gorgeous. Yeah, is... I always said it would be cool to have a round barn. Yep. And that's what it's inspired by, yep, for sure. You, you picked it up. Um, the Wisconsin Round Barn kind of design, and it is the Gunzel Gallery at uh, the Peninsula School of Art. And so we have, uh, I think it's one of the more unique gallery spaces because you don't usually, usually it's like a square box you right. know, for a gallery. So I love that we've got all this space and all this beautiful wood and, you know, kind of a harmonious like round design. But like I said, we have maybe four or five exhibitions every year, and we've always got something interesting to show. Good. So now when we first came in here earlier, I was asking Claire about the little boxes on the wall and what, yeah. what's going on here. And she was saying, the this, plan, this is where they will hang the paintings and then their yeah. names are up above. Yes. So when their paintings are done, they would just come here and hang their artwork. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's as soon as the paintings are done. And we'll have paintings coming in during the festival that are still wet, you know, from, you know, the, the oil is not dried. So and then oh they go gosh. right up on the wall. Um, so they are truly like right off the easel. OK, so what happens if somebody buys it? Do you have a backup painting? We as, as soon as they start to be bought, we, we bring them to our back room and start packaging them up and then people can take them as they're as they want. And then do you hang them. more paintings? Yeah. Okay, but then until the, the artists change. are until the artists are all out, you oh. know, when if an artist sells out, then, you know, do they sell out? Yeah, some of them do. Wow. Not all, but some of them do. That's amazing. I've yeah. never been to one. I'd have to come and check it out. Yeah, we'd love to yeah. have you come and check it out. I think, and I think it's probably, we should probably just peek outside real quick because we have an amazing new studio back yeah, there. Yeah, I've never seen any of the new parts. Okay. So yeah, this is great. Let's do that. And a lot of people haven't seen this place at all. So anything you want to show us is new. Well, I got to say, so the one of the things is that keeps us kind of um, a hidden gem of Door County is that uh, we're tucked away. Uh, our main is entrance beautiful. is on F, right? So yeah. it's it's a little bit hidden, but uh -huh. what we love is that we do have access to 
the, the 42 is back there, and this is all our property. And we have Gibraltar on the left side and the YMC over here. And so it's kind of this really nice intersection. And what we're doing now is we're starting to have um, more sculptures. We had five sculptures delivered in the last month that are now kind of in the field out here. And we just want people to be able to come in and enjoy that at any point in time. Right, like at the um, Edgewood Orchard Gallery, I love walking through their woods with all their sculptures. Yeah, it's one of you my favorite You know, a long places. time ago, a man that did the UWGB campus mm -hmm. and did all the trails and everything came to me once to ask me if uh, we would be interested in possibly doing a small walkthrough garden oh, yeah. where they accidentally tore down the fire station or they were going to tore down all these trees in okay. Sister Bay. Do you okay. know what I mean? Where the old fire oh, yeah. library. Yeah, yeah, sure. So he wanted to do a walkway in there and he wanted it to be a memorial hmm. by putting statues for people who have passed away. Sure. And I thought, what a great idea. And I loved his campus and he talked about Edgewood Orchard and he sent me all his work but his wife got so sick and ill wow. and then I lost contact with him. I mean, that yeah. was he was struggling at that point with all this other stuff. Sure. But it's a great idea. Yeah. And I love that people love to walk through and look at things because I'll never forget walking to Edgewood Orchard Gallery the first time and seeing that big giant flying owl. Yeah. Remember yeah, the yeah. owl? I totally know the owl. Oh, I wanted the I owl. I love that. Somebody yeah. bought the it, owl. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's not there anymore? Buy, yeah, no. Oh, uh, shoot. There. I Some, love the owl. They can buy anything there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, what happened to the owl? And they said, oh, somebody bought it. Yeah. And I'm like, lucky them, but darn for us. I know. Yeah. Yeah. But so. that's a, such a beautiful campus that they have beautiful facility. So was this land donated by the potters? Yeah, so there's, I don't know if you can see it right through those trees. The there's Cohen's? a- Cohen? Yeah, Cohen's. Abe Cohen, Abe and Ginka. And uh, they they owned uh, the potter's wheel, which yep. was kind of out closer to the, the highway. And they, um, the art school, as they were kind of nearing the mm -hmm. end, uh, bought the property from them. They sold it to us. And so we've had that property for quite a few decades now. Are you going to do anything with the tower? Because that's very cool. <laughs> it is super cool. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but I'd love to figure out something fun to do with it. We could have a little At hands-on art there. studio once, you could make a tile and put it on the side of the thing, oh. but you had to pay for it oh, you yeah. know, to put it on there. Because we, we went there once yeah. and we could make this thing and they put it onto their silo and so the whole like silo, cool. it had little art tiles. That's on a cool it. idea. I, I mean, it's like in some similar kind of spirit as the Hardy, you know, where people can leave a mark. Although I don't think they pay for it at the Hardy. Yeah. But yeah, that would be a fun project to yeah. do. Something, something, something fun cool. and colorful. Yeah. Let's pop into this studio. This is a new studio that was opened just a couple of years ago. It's named after our founder, Madeline Turtolo. Uh, who was a filmmaker from Chicago and a big presence in Door County in I've the read about 50s her. and 60s She's and 70s. This yeah. building is really nice. Now yeah. I want to rip down my old farmhouse and live in a real simple building. This would be perfect. Yeah, wait until you <laughs> see the inside. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Who's yeah. the architects? So it's a group called HGA. H They're based in Milwaukee. Is it the same group that did right on? I actually, I'm not sure who did write on. I don't know if it was the same. That's beautiful in here. Yeah, I mean, we've got, we're wow. so lucky because this is just, uh, you know, sun-filled space. People love to come here. And this is a 2D studio, so it's painting, it's drawing. Um, and we have classes here throughout the summer and the fall. And then in the winter, we have artists and residents at the art school. And so we have six artists who will come through here during the winter months, and they'll just work on whatever project they've got going on at that time. And so we love to be able to support people in that way well, too. When you have the artists in residence, do they come in here and then people can join them or you just come here to watch them do their work? They, they have an open studio once or twice during their time here. And so they just invite anybody to come over and check out what they're doing. And they but can otherwise, give them pointers and things like that. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's, and it's very like casual, very accessible. People love to come and chat with them and see what they're up to. It's so peaceful in here. You I can't know. hear anything outside. I yeah, love it. yeah. Really quiet. Yeah, the acoustics are really nice in here. It's a great space, even for little events. It's mm -hmm. a fun space to hang out. Oh yeah, out. if you had to do something, you could do it in here. Yeah. Move the tables, yep. you bet. This is amazing. 
Yeah, we had just a, a class that just ended a couple days ago and that was in here. We had probably 15 or 20 students who were learning some painting techniques. And um, it's always fun to walk through and see people making oh, art. Bet. You'll have to add some of those videos onto our little Door County Girl episode here because it's so neat to watch people working at it. You yeah. Know? This yeah. is even nice right here. Yeah, just a nice, peaceful, quiet place to yeah. sit. This is beautiful. I'm so glad you got this piece of property. Yeah, I am. Just think there could have been condos there. Oh, boy. Just perfect. Thank you. Out. That's a gorgeous. Yep, yep. Now that was added or not? This was, um, this is, this has been here for quite a while. This is another painting and uh, drawing studio. Okay. Yeah. And then on the other side, we're going to see another new wing of the art school, but I want to show you the metals and ceramics, okay. uh, which was oh, yeah. part of the original building as well. Out. Everything's so nice and quiet in here. <laughs> Yeah, you caught us on a week between classes. <laughs> it's just like quiet. So all the way back here, we're just going to pop our heads in and... Oh, hi. hi, Izzy. Hi. Just giving a quick tour. So this is our ceramic studio. Um, and we're, we, one of the things that was surprising to me when I got here, you know, I figured the teens would love to have like digital classes, iPhone based things, or maybe even I, AI types of things. It turns out that by far the most popular class that we have for teens is ceramics. How come? They love, Why do you think that? Think they just love get, getting off of the device and working with their hands, you know, okay. like the tactile sure. side of that, where you're just forming something with them. How cool. All right, so let's do the youth wing. That's the last stop on the tour. Yeah. How many people work for you? We have a team of five people, including myself. So we're a small but mighty team. Okay. And uh, we, we just hired a new person, uh, but the others have been here. We have got a colleague who's been here for 10 years, eight years, and then three years. And these are some of the pieces that yes. Izzy was talking about. Just admiring about. this when I walked in. Look at this. All these kids' classes. Look yeah, I know. Aren't those great? Yeah. Those little figures with, the, I don't even know how they made these with I the know. dots, but I love that I so know. much. I know. That's so talented. You never know what kids want to make. Look at, there's a little pig. So cute. Very nice. Yeah, and the food is very cool. And um, our intern, Izzy, decorated this whole hallway, turned it into this big installation with artwork from the kids. That's what I so, love about going to the auditorium. I always yeah. stop and look at the art on the wall because they always switch it up. Yeah, I like I've that. I've seen that too. A lot of people just walk right by it, but you have to stop and look, you know? It's so creative and colorful. Yes. And, and everybody has their own version of art. We can, we can probably just peek in. These are the little aprons that I love. Oh yeah, look at your little aprons. Um, well used. Yeah, exactly. These are, this sure. is one of the children's uh, classrooms here. Very nice. Same design as the building that we saw in the back. Uh -huh. And um, you know, we, get to, we can section these off and make this into four different studios or open it all up and make it one big say, hall. I was gonna say, are those folding walls? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's pretty flexible, which is really great you for... You always have a lot of space. That's nice. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the the youth studios here was just a big priority in the last building campaign mm -hmm. because um, there's, there's always been a history of children's art education yeah. here at the art school. And so it was. it felt like the most important thing that the organization could do was, you know, create this space. And... You know, it does fill up. We have we have tons and tons of kids coming through here every year. Well, when I was little and I went to Gibraltar, which is a long time ago, my favorite class was art, but we didn't really have this kind of thing to go to. Yeah. So I always wondered, I had a couple foster kids with me and my son when he was little, and we did some of the foster kids, they do like Halloween projects where you could come up yeah. here and you could make your own mask yeah. or something cool like that. Yeah. And we didn't have to sign up for that. I remember it was free. Yeah. And it was at that time of year where most of the locals went. Yeah. But I did notice that it's hard to sign up for something in the summer because it gets filled so quickly. And I don't think that the locals get 
um, not saying that they can't sign up, but it's just harder sure. for a local person to sign up and quickly in the summer. Yeah. Is it a price thing or is it just timing wise or the parents are working or what do you think that is? It's a good question. The good thing is that we have a generous donor who created a scholarship fund for Door County children. So mm -hmm. if you have a zip, if you have an address with a zip code here, you can come to classes here for free. Okay. And so I think it's one of the things that we really want everyone in the community to know about because we want them to be able to take advantage of it. Yeah, because um, I remember people saying to me, well, I can't sign up because it's already full and yeah. all the other people take it. And I'm like, what do you... I Got to get in early. But then I that always is, think, okay, well, yeah, I know that your work and your husband works. I mean, when are you going to have time to take your kids to the, the place, though? That's sure. not always the art school's fault. It's just that the whole... Yeah. In the summer, everybody's busy. It's the, In the winter, we're not. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah. So I always used to take advantage more of like when it was winter or off season yeah. and then they had fun events. We do have a lot of those and we still do the mask making in the fall. And then we have a bunch of like family art days throughout the school yeah, year. I like that. And that's really for local folks, especially. And then, I mean, the classes during the summer, they do fill up fairly quickly, but we have some classes that are just one day, like mm -hmm. on a Saturday. And so those are those tend to be popular. Mm -hmm. We've noticed for local folks. Yeah, um, but, but that's good though that yeah. you fill up because that's the whole point of keeping the blaze running. Yeah, yeah. But I just think sometimes I feel like some of my friends that feel like it's not attainable or not affordable that they should take more advantage of it in the winter time because yep. it's just so much fun for kids to want to come here and do something fun. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I mean we want to make sure that people know that they're welcome here and yeah. that there's always something going on for the community. You don't have to be registered for an art class or even call yourself an artist Everybody's to come an through they our all know doors. That I say this every time. Yes, <laughs> I agree. I agree. Of art. We're all creative. That's <laughs> yeah, that's just part something. of being human. <laughs> And yeah. my son used to always tell me, I'm not good at art. I'm terrible, terrible at art. And I have all his artwork saved that, uh, that he had drawn because I thought it was so clever and good. Yeah. And he couldn't see why I thought it was clever and good. Yeah. And he's not here anymore. He passed away. But I love that I kept all his little things yeah. that he thought were bad. It's so important to have there, those. It was those art. Really... It was art. Yeah. Absolutely. Everybody had different art. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we want everyone to know that and yeah. to be able to somehow connect to that because it is something that we have when we're children. It's like that creative impulse. Yeah. And somewhere along the way, a lot of us get told, oh, you're not good at that or, you know, you should try I something know. else. But it's still there. It's You just got to peel back some of those layers. And I don't even think that it's that they're not good at it. I just think that the person telling them that it doesn't appeal to them, but it yeah. might appeal to three other people. Exactly. That is so true. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what art does. That's right. I mean, I don't know if I like modern art, but I do like other kinds of art. Yes. It doesn't mean I don't like, I mean, I wouldn't buy something modern art from my house, yeah. but I would buy something else, but that doesn't mean I don't. Appreciate the yes. you know the efforts and yes the and the cleverness and, yeah. and how it's done and how much time it took and you know what they think yeah everybody's got their own opinions yeah so yeah. anything else you can show us I think that's the end of the campus tour um, and I I think you know we're like I said I mean we're really happy that you stopped by thank oh, we're you happy for to have you popping over have us come here yeah. I always say we just talked about. Um, you know, like if somebody knows, like if you know someone that is interesting that we don't know about, I like to, you know, a lot of people don't know you. Now they yeah. will. Yeah. And they'll come here probably and introduce themselves and, you know. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I welcome you to Door County. So. Thanks for, thanks for that. For yeah. Introducing me. Congratulations on your new job. Thank you. Thanks. We brought them cookie and candies. <laughs> you know, we Which I'm going to enjoy for the next. you up a little. Yeah. <laughs> I'll enjoy it for the next, <laughs> I give it a, maybe two weeks at the most b before all that's gone. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. We know where more it comes from. <laughs> yes. Anyway, we so appreciate you letting us come here. And this is a beautiful place. I'm a little jealous of your job. I work in a warehouse. You get to work in an art school. And um, I Every single day when I walk through these doors, I am grateful oh, because it is such a fun place to be. Okay, it's, my last question to yeah. you, though, I'm under pressure. Are you an artist? I am, yeah. 
I, so I started drawing when I was three years old, and I think there was a moment where my parents were a little worried that I wanted to stay in and draw versus go outside and play with my friends. But uh, it balanced out, and I, I wound up studying art and art history in college, and I still paint and draw um, on the side a little bit. Okay, can people see your work anywhere? Do you Not wish? at the moment, but, but maybe. Might. Maybe I'll start to put okay. it out there. Huh? at see, some point that's a good way to keep in touch so yeah. you have to see his artwork thanks for asking <laughs> yes <laughs> why else would you be here you're an that's artist right. yeah that's right yeah well thanks for joining us for another episode of door county girl and don't forget to like and subscribe at the bottom of the screen and you can meet more cool people that we come around to visit and show you that door county can be a great place to live bye everyone thanks for watching door county girl don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.